I've been thinking a lot about elephants this week and the pleasure they've given me over the years, hanging out with them, filming them. But now, there's another emotion. There is no other way to say this. I am upset, disgusted, angry. I'm, well, frankly, I'm just pissed off. And all because of a video I saw last week. You may have seen it too. There's this guy described as an NRA lobbyist who's the host of a big game hunting TV show, Tony Macris. And he is shown killing a big bull elephant and then posing with his gun and his guide standing all big hunter proud like beside the dead elephant. And then they're shown back at camp celebrating, drinking champagne and talking about how great it is to harvest an elephant and bring the ivory back. The whole thing was sickening with them acting like they'd done something special, something brave, something macho. Well, there was nothing brave or difficult about it. I've been going to Africa for 20 years observing elephants. They're not hard to find. Although they may soon be if we don't stop killing them. But if you're tracking them, they leave big footprints, big dung piles. On my first trip to Africa, Derek Schubert and I walked into a group of wild elephants at a watering hole, armed only with a camera. Because now it's really critical. If I fall, we both in trouble. Um, if it was safe, it wouldn't be worth doing, boy. We got so close, one sprayed us. We didn't shoot it with a gun. We didn't kill it. They're naturally charismatic creatures, elephants. Every time I'm around one, I'm entertained. Just watching them do what elephants do. For example, here's some video I shot one day at the Singida Lamombo Game Reserve in South Africa's Kruger region. We were headed back to the lodge at midday when we saw this herd moving down a mostly dry riverbed. Nothing unusual happened, but as they splashed and drank, rolled in the mud, dug for salts in the dirt, dusted and scratched, we were riveted observers, postponing lunch, sitting under a blazing sun until the last elephant left. Then last week, I see this guy with a gun go shoot one in the head three times just for fun in a TV show. What's especially galling is that while Macris is killing an elephant for sport, poachers last year illegally killed 35,000 elephants. That's almost 100 a day. And in Zimbabwe recently, poachers poisoned watering holes with cyanide to kill 80 elephants. They wanted the ivory. The poachers are selling the tusk on the black market where they can bring more than $1,000 a pound. There's somewhere between 450 and 695,000 African elephants left in the world. At most, that's a 20-year supply at the rate poachers are killing them. And now, some guy is doing it for fun. No wonder I'm pissed off. And fortunately, enough other people were upset that NBC Sports has canceled that big game hunting show. And Botswana, where the hunt took place, has enacted a ban on commercial elephant hunting that will begin in January of 2014. A glimmer of hope, an otherwise dismal picture for elephants.